you're not going to decrease the reflux. The proton pump inhibitors and the uh, Zantac and, and everything else, that will decrease the acid, but it won't, won't prevent the reflux. You still have the problem. The stuff's still going up there. It may not burn, but it's still going there. And in fact, I had a professor tell me once that um, if you think about 30 years ago that we were talking about the uh, uh, cancer at the, of the uh, stomach up by the esophagus, 30 years ago what happened? Well in about the early 1970s a brand new exciting drug came onto the market. It was uh, tested at university where I was in medical school called cimetidine. And if those of you know what cimetidine is, it's, it's tagamet. And that's the first of the histamine uh, uh, blocker agents that decreases acid. And we're treating acid, people are no longer having the pain that much, but they still have the reflux. So you, your doctor says you need, a, you need an operation. You need a laparoscopic operation. He can, you know, I've sent you someone that can do this with a laparoscope. Well, what is that? Well, everybody's heard of laparoscopic gallbladder surgery or belly button surgery. And what that is is that we, we're able to, to take a small, scope. I stole this from the OR. I borrowed it. This, this is a laparoscope. This is what we use upstairs. And it's attached to a camera here. It's got a light that comes through. It's very bright. And a lens that's projected onto a television set, just, just like your TV. If you've ever seen on, I guess it was the educational channel, the discovery channel, whatever, you see laparoscopic procedures because they're all, you can actually see them and you get really nice visualization you're able to access the abdomen because you take these little things called trocars. They're inserted into the abdomen and the scope, this is inside somebody and then you can just insert that scope and you move it around and you're looking just, just looking over here and, and you're able to see everything. And it's a, a, a very interesting procedure. Now, gallbladder surgery is relatively easy to do. Uh, it just turns out that surgeons got involved in laparoscopic operations because for some reason someone chose the gallbladder. This, uh, there was someone in France that first started, did it and there was some, uh, then the, in the United States around 1989 we started doing it. And laparoscopic gallbladder operations are very easy. It's become the standard of care. About 10 years ago someone said, well, maybe we can look up at the esophagy, at the, where we do these operations for reflux and try that. And for about 10 years it's, it's been done. Just put my stuff away here. If I break it, they'll yell at me. So the Nissen fund application basically was developed in the 1930s by a surgeon named Rudolf Nissen. And uh, basically there have been some uh, modifications of the procedure, but it is basically the same procedure. In 1960, 1970, whenever, people were able to have Nissen fund applications, but it required an operation. It required an incision about yay long from just underneath your breastbone to your belly button. It was big, and it was, uh, I mean, like any operation in the upper abdomen, if anybody here has ever had one, it, 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 it's painful. You're in the hospital for about a week. But um, essentially what's happened is we've been able to do a <laughs> Nissen fund application, the same exact operation with the laparoscope. Is the first slide, please? So anyway, there are other fund applications. I'm going to use this because this is the procedure that I do. The other operations are very similar, um, and we do them occasionally, only if we have to, but this is the one. Four decades of clinical experience. You see this is all 91% um, uh, effective, and that is, uh, that's, that's pretty good data. Now, using these small incisions and these small ports, being able to do the same procedure, the disadvantages of an open operation of having that cut in your belly have been minimized because now we can do it through those little, I mean, you can figure that a, only about four or five of these things in, in you, but incision's only about that big. So you see the open procedure, th this is an old slide actually, but uh, I would say that for the open procedure we're about right. The total recovery period of about a month hospital stay of nine days, uh, laparoscopic repair, uh, recovery period of seven to 13 days uh, is probably right, but hospital stay, I send patients home the following day or the day after, usually about uh, two days, three days in the hospital. So there's clearly an advantage, and again, it's the same procedure, the same operation. So who should get the operation? 
Well, if your gastroenterologist tells you you should have one, you probably should have one. If you have refractory disease, if you really have a reflux, maybe not the burn, but you're having all those kind of horrible tastes in your mouth and asthma, or you still having some of the burning, uh, and you're, you're on maximum therapy, and you have a lifelong... Uh,